Welcome back. If you're just joining us, you are watching Metrofile right here on Channels Television. Now, let's join the celebration of life for the Supreme Head and Primate, Olorunwo Cathedral Church of the Cherubim and Seraphim. His Eminence, the Most Reverend Emmanuel Omolaja Aremu Olorunwo, the Badua of Egbaland. He led the Olorunwo Cathedral Church of the Cherubim and Seraphim for over 55 years as the Supreme Head and Primate. His Eminence, the Most Reverend Emmanuel Omolaja Aremu Olorunwo, the Baadwa of Egbaland, and a respected religious leader from Ogu Totoro in Abeokuta, Ogun State. He finally went to be with his creator on September 2, 2021, at the age of 85, after a fulfilled life of service to God and humanity. An eminent cleric and Owu community leader, the Archbishop left an indelible mark as a religious and community leader. All these virtues were celebrated in all the events lined up for his final rites of passage, an all-white affair. <laughs> This service of songs was a festival of hymns and his family was joined by members of his church, friends and other loved ones who considered it a privilege to sing some of his favourite hymns. Also called an Apostle of Reconciliation, he played prominent roles in settling rifts among members of the political class, traditional institutions and community leaders, and this endeared him to many. Christian wake followed the next day.
was a moment of mixed emotions at the Olorunwo Cathedral of the CNS Church, Bagada, as more guests from different parts of the country gathered to celebrate his life and impact during his eight-decade sojourn on Earth. And that is why we are all saying that Baba was a soldier of Christ. Described as a man of honor and integrity, Archbishop Onorowo received the divine call to God's vineyard in 1946 at the age of 10. In 1963, he was ordained as a prophet, and three years later, he established CNS Church at Lagomeji Yaba, Lagos. His influence cuts across religious, traditional, and political circles. On the humanitarian side, he extended a duty of care to the needy. But in everything he did, his family came first. I can tell you, our father is the first servant of the church. Our father is the first slave of the church. He will open the church, open the windows, clean the chairs, sweep the floor by himself. How many of us can do that for Christ? I'm so happy that, that Baba lived for God. Baba lived for Christ. Baba lived for the upliftment of the CNS. And as Baba lived for all these things, God in his infinite mercies will live for all of you. White affair continued on day three, the final day of his celebration of life. Well done, 
good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler of many things. Enter into the joy of thy Lord. Some eminent Nigerians who attended the event spoke highly of the late Archbishop. I want to congratulate all men and women, especially of Uso who are here, because I can see all solidarity. And uh, I have no doubt in mind that the kingdom will continue to grow from time to strength. Um, we thank God that Papa did not die. Uh, a young man, uh, he died at a very ripe age. But whatever the case may be, whether even they get to the 100 years, we will see we that they continue to be with us. If there's anything that is happening in the polity, you will call me and pray for me. And clearly you know that for somebody that doesn't even call in, you will always make it a point of duty to check on me, to pray for me, to ask about what is happening to me. And clearly you know that he truly, truly love you, he truly, truly like you. And that's why. Continue to be established in your life. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I would like to appreciate our Excellencies here seated. We appreciate you. You have been with us since the beginning. We thank you for your support. Morally, financially, and otherwise, you have been dear to us. We appreciate you. It is good not continuing to our guidance and it will take you to greater height in Jesus' name. He was thereafter buried within the premises of the church. He's a straight shooter. He does not uh, mean words when it comes to the truth. He's someone that you will talk to and you will know that the, the voice of God is speaking. I still feel his presence. Giving that directive gave me the assurance that he's not dead, that he has only gone to join the saints in heaven. So for me, he's in a higher spiritual realm to even do more for this church and for his children and also for humanity in general. A husband, father, grandfather, and spiritual father to many. He lived well, and his good works during his years on earth will be evergreen. Okay, his assignment is done here on earth. He has gone to meet his creator. May his soul rest in peace. Well, that's our show today. Thank you so much for watching. For these and many more, please do log on to channelstv.com and follow us on all our social media handles. You can also reach us with the number blinking on your screen. Thank you once again for watching. I am Oge Chikwasi Oyelude. Happy Independence to Nigerians.